Every year on the 12th of September, a Gurdwara in Firozpur is lit up and decorated for special prayers. This Gurdwara, the Saragari Gurdwara, commemorates the sacrifice of soldiers from the district way back in 1897. In this battle, 22 Sikh soldiers fought off over 10,000 Afghan tribesmen at a distant outpost called Saragari, fighting to the last man, the last bullet, in one of the most stirring stories of collective valor and determination. Saragari was a small village in the northwest frontier province of Kohat, now in Pakistan. During the Anglo-Afghan Wars, the British Army had been engaged in a year-long campaign against the Pashtun tribesmen. As the fighting intensified, 36 Sikh, later the 4th Battalion of the Sikh Regiment, was sent to man the outposts of Fort Lockhart and Fort Gulistan on the Samna Ridge. Since the two forts were not intervisible, a small post of Saragari was created midway to relay signals between the two forts. The post was not much, just a small blockhouse and a signalling tower on a windswept hill with a mud and stone wall around it. In September 1897, the Afghans launched repeated attacks on the forts of Lockhart and Gulistan, only to be repulsed. They then turned their attention to Saragari. Fortunately, the post had been reinforced just the day before by Havaldar Ishar Singh and 20 other ranks. Plus one cook, Dad Singh, whose role is unfortunately often forgotten. It was a meagre strength. On the morning of 12th September, a force of around 10,000 Pashtuns under their brutal leader, Gul Batsha, surrounded the post. They asked the small garrison to surrender, promising to spare their lives if they did. Isher and his men conferred briefly and then like true warriors, picked up their weapons and went to their positions on the ramparts of their post. The first attack came in around 9 in the morning. Around 1,000 screaming Afridi and Oradzai tribesmen attacked from two directions. Fortunately, on the narrow spur leading to the post, only around 80 to 100 could attack at a time. But the attack came in in incessant waves. Two attacks were repulsed with heavy casualties. This action could be seen through binoculars from Fort Lockhart and Gulistan. And though they tried to launch a small diversionary attack, no reinforcements could be sent to help the post. After the initial attacks failed, the Afghans retreated. But they dug a few holes and planted explosives beneath the wall, unseen from the defenders above. Around noon, the next attacks came, and this time they managed to breach the outer wall. Isher Singh ordered the remnants of his men to fall back to the inner sanctum, that solitary mud house and communication tower. He himself remained behind firing and covering his men, and then attacking with his sword till he was finally overwhelmed and killed. Then around 3, the explosives placed beneath the walls were detonated and the Afghans poured in. Bitter hand-to-hand -hand fighting followed, with the Sikh defenders fighting till the ammunition ran out. Then with their bayonets, then with kirpans, and finally with their bare hands. 
one by one the outnumbered defenders fell from the communication tower signalman gurmukh singh continued relaying messages to fort lockhart till his last message around 3 when he requested permission to leave and join his comrades the end was coming close by 4 the cries and gunfire subsided each of the 22 men including the cook fell at the post weapons in hand the afghans lost around 180 to 200 killed but the battle which they thought would be over in an hour had taken them all day it gained precious time for reinforcements to reach fort lockhart and gulistan next day the attack on the post was repulsed two days later the battle scarred post of saragari was also retaken and the bodies of ishar singh and his men recovered the afghans had not mutilated them as they usually did nor did they remove their turbans it was a rare mark of respect for their courageous opponents each of the 21 soldiers was awarded the indian order of merit the highest gallantry award for indians at the time the saragari pillar was erected and two gurdwaras constructed to commemorate the battle one near the golden temple at amritsar the other at ferozpur where most of the soldiers came from the story of saragari continued to inspire generations after that it was a story of men fighting impossible odds and even in death remaining forever unbowed and unconquered